Diabetes, as severe as it is, brings with it a whole other dimension of diseases. Diabetes interferes with the body's ability to use and manage sugar glucose. Diabetic retinopathy is identified by too much sugar in the blood, which spreads damage throughout the body, including the eyes. What is diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy is damage to your eyes caused by diabetes. It can result in blurred vision or complete blindness. The nerves of the retina are supported by tiny blood vessels in the back of the eyes. These blood vessels can be destroyed over time by continuous high levels of glucose in your blood and or high blood pressure hypertension. Destroying the tiny blood vessels prevents the retina from receiving the nutrients it needs to maintain vision. In the early stages of diabetic retinopathy, which is called non-proliferative retinopathy, these blood vessels will leak fluid and this will distort your sight. Then in later stages called proliferative retinopathy, new blood vessels grow around the retina and in the vitreous humor, a clear substance that fills the eyes. These blood vessels are very fragile and may bleed, clouding your vision or creating a scar that detaches the retina. Diabetic retinopathy can cause macular edema or swelling of the inner part of the retina, the macula. The macula is the part that allows you to see detail. Swelling happens when fluid from the blood vessels leaks into the macula. This swelling is what blurs your vision. In addition, contraction of the new blood vessels can cause scar tissue to form on the back of the retina. This scarring can cause the retina to pull away from the back of the eyes. This is known as retinal detachment and if it is not treated it can cause permanent blindness. So, as a diabetic, how can you hold on to your vision? In most cases of diabetic retinopathy, laser surgery can prevent significant loss of vision. However, in today's video we will discuss 5 alternative and effective home remedies for diabetic retinopathy to beat blindness. Welcome to our channel, Unhealthy to Healing. February is Low Vision Awareness Month and we would like to remind all of our viewers to get your eyes checked by your ophthalmologist and to share this video with others for low vision awareness. Our videos provide information on healthier foods and beverages, natural supplements, solutions, techniques and treatments to improve and help heal various health conditions. If you find value in this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The more subscribers we get the better and more content we can keep creating. Also click the bell icon to be notified immediately when we release a new helpful video. Click on the subscribe button below this video. Disclaimer. All information provided on our channel Unhealthy to Healing and our videos are for educational purposes only. And should not be considered as professional advice. Our goal is to provide accurate, detailed, thorough and to the point content. We are not a licensed professional and encourage our viewers to seek a licensed professional and or consult your doctor. Anyone with diabetes, whether type 1 or type 2, is at risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. Also how widely your blood glucose fluctuates, how well you are controlling your diabetes and how long you have had diabetes will affect your risk factors of developing diabetic retinopathy. The only way to lower your risk of developing diabetic retinopathy is to control your blood glucose levels rigorously. And if you are hypertensive, you also need to control your blood pressure. There are no early signs of diabetic retinopathy. Your sight may not be affected at all until your condition has become severe. However, if you experience a loss of central vision when driving or reading, or you lose the ability to see color or find that things look blurry, you should check with your ophthalmologist to see if you have diabetic retinopathy. Floaters are small blackish specks that float across your eyes and may indicate leaking blood vessels, even if they clear up in a few days or weeks. Also contact an ophthalmologist for a complete eye examination without delay if you have black spots in your vision or see flashes of light, or have holes in your vision and or experience blurred vision. Okay viewers, get ready to beat blindness with these 5 effective home remedies for Diabetic Retinopathy Number 1. Resveratrol Found in red wine, this natural supplement may be effective in the microcirculation of the eyes. Resveratrol has high nutrient value helping prevent ocular diseases such as age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy and glaucoma. Number 2. Bottle Gourd Juice 
Packed with vitamins and minerals, bottle gourd juice should be consumed daily in the morning on an empty stomach for the maximum benefits. Bottle gourd juice is high in vitamin C which is vital in improving eyesight and is another very effective diabetic retinopathy home remedy. People who drink bottle gourd juice twice a week are found to have significant improvements in their eyesight. Number 3. Amla Juice with a rich source of vitamin A and C and a high content of folic acid and minerals, amla juice improves vision quality. Daily intake of amla juice in the morning will be beneficial for the eyes of people suffering from diabetic retinopathy. Amla juice should be taken on an empty stomach so that it can cleanse the entire body system. Amla juice has been proven very beneficial in increasing the quality of eye vision. Number 4. Sandalwood Paste Applying sandalwood paste on the eyelids has been used to treat pain and inflammatory skin diseases in India for many years. The paste should be put on after closing the eyelids properly as direct contact with the eyes can prove more harmful. When making sandalwood paste, make sure to get original and high-quality sandalwood as an adulterated product could prove more risky for the eyes instead of beneficial. Number 5. Fenugreek Seeds Fenugreek seeds are very much useful in controlling cholesterol levels in the body, which is very necessary for people suffering from diabetic retinopathy. Apart from cholesterol, fenugreek seeds are useful in maintaining good health of other vital organs like the kidneys, liver and heart and should be included in your diet. It is also essential to have your eyes examined regularly, at least once a year by an ophthalmologist, who will dilate your eyes so that they can see into the retina at the back of the eyes and look for changes in blood vessels, new blood vessel growth, swelling of the retina and retinal detachment. This is the only way to catch the disease early enough to save you from significant loss of vision. And be rigorous in keeping your diabetes under control by maintaining the correct levels for your blood glucose, blood pressure and cholesterol. And viewers, that concludes our video today on the 5 natural remedies to beat blindness caused by diabetic retinopathy. Please use these 5 natural remedies in addition to any tests or treatments recommended by your doctor. And keep us informed of your progress with these 5 home remedies by typing unhealthy to healing in the comments section and sharing your story. We would love to hear from you. And viewers, thank you for watching, please stay safe, happy and healthier. We will see you at our next video.